What's up, my LS crazed amigos? It's your boy, Terry, speaking from the garage shop once again. Here to offer you some more Big Bang for the Buck product and info. That is correct. Let me ask you a question. If I start shouting numbers out like 243, 241, 823, 799, 317, 035, what would you think? No, I'm not talking about some jacked up quarterback snap calls. No, what I'm talking about are the casting numbers that's on the Gen 3 and Gen 4 LS engine. So we all know that I'm going to swap over the, the LS2 heads that are on this truck and go with LS3 style heads because we're going to put the LSA on there. Is we're going to step on over to where I keep my stuff <laughs> two steps away. So come on, let's, let's go and talk about it. Come on, you and me. Come on, let's go. Now, when you're shopping for a head, you may notice in the description two letters, CC. What CC stands for is cubic centimeters. Cubic centimeters is basically a measurement of volume of what the combustion chamber of that particular <laughs> said head is capable of. But when you see 70 cc's, that means that particular head is capable of 70 cubic centimeters of volume in the combustion chamber of that head. Depending on what you're building the engine for, you may need more CC, you may need less CC. So contact your engine builder and find out what his input is. And while you're at it, you might as well contact the manufacturer of the heads because they can tell you which way to go and steer you in the right direction. And don't be afraid to contact the cam guy because all this stuff is gonna work together and basically in the end, you wanna have the best running engine you possibly can. Enough talk, let's go over the heads. All right, here's the LS2 head. This came off the Trailblazer, and this is the LS3 head. This is going on the Trailblazer. Okay, now here's the casting number. You can find the casting number on the lower right-hand side of the head, looking down at it. All right, and here's 821, 243. This is the LS2 head I removed off my Trailblazer SS. It shares with the LS3 the exhaust on the D port. So you got your exhaust system right here, your headers are either your manifold. You see how it's shaped like a D? It's a D port. And it also shares the 1.7 rocker arms. And this is what's known as a cathedral port head. See how it's shaped like a cathedral? Check it out. You see that? Your intake goes on top of that, and that's the cathedral. So when you hear cathedral port heads, this is what they're talking about. And this is the LS2 head. Let's check out the LS3. Here's the LS3 head that I'm gonna install on my Trailblazer along with my LSA. This also has the D port head, as you can see. It's a D port, all right? And the rockers are the same. They're 1.7, but with this on the intake, you're gonna need an offset rocker. On the Gen 3, you have straight rockers like this. On the Gen 4, on the, on the intake, you're gonna have offset rockers like that. And you also gotta get, I don't know what these are called, it's called rocker guides, okay? You have to get two new rocker guides for a Gen 4. All right? you, can't, you can't mix a Gen 3 rocker guides with a Gen 4 head. Here's your intake valve, your exhaust valve. Now, you remember, the, you remember the cathedral port? These, a lot of people call them square port, but they're not square port. Square port heads on an LS7. Casting number 452, I believe. These are what's known as rectangular port. See? Rectangle. Hence the name rectangular port. So I hope this answers some of your questions about the subtle differences between the LS2 head and the LS3. If you need some questions answered, you know who to reach. You know, you know, you, you know I'm gonna answer questions for you. <laughs> or try, try to find the answer for you. But I'm looking at the clock on the wall, or should I say ceiling, and at this time, what I wanna do is I wanna say thank you guys for all of the love, the attention, and, and the fun that, that you're giving me, and I hope I'm giving you the same, all right? So remember, always, if you like what I'm doing here, so we can do some more stuff, all right? If you like what I'm doing here, hit that subscribe button, hit the likes button, and also hit that bell, because that way you get notified when I put another video out. And I'm gonna be putting a whole bunch of videos out because I gotta hurry up and try to get this truck ready so we can, so we can be cruising together, all right? Go to some car shows, that's right. Check you out and check me out. All right, but look at the clock on the wall. Yeah, or should I say ceiling? <laughs> Time for me to head on off so I can install the heads. And as always, as always, please 
Mm. Be easy. And I'll catch you guys real soon. Take care.